We're going to try the new Hayes process check for a mediator through SPSS. This is the guided homework. So let's take a look at our model here. So we're trying to see if study minutes is acting as a mediator between midterm scores and final exam scores. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is jump over to SPSS. So after installing the Hayes process, there's a video on that here somewhere. You're going to go to Analyze, Regression, Regression, Process. The version I'm using is the latest one, V3.5. Hope that doesn't date me in the years to come. Probably will. All right, number one is the variables. They can't be over eight characters long, and it gets kind of mad. So switch it over to Display Variables. I had to rename these each to under eight characters or less. Okay. So this is the Hayes process. First thing you do is the model number is, one is moderators. We're not doing moderators in this video. We're doing mediators. Mediators is number four. Got it? Leave these things at the default. 95% uh, confidence interval, 5,000 different times of bootstrapping. That's more than enough if you ask me. So our DV is our final exam, right? Our IV is midterm, and our suspected mediator is minutes of tutoring. Okay. Let's check out the options. So a lot of this stuff makes no sense to me, so we're going to skip it, but um, I like the effect size. Total effect model, I like that one. And that should be enough for now. And we're going to click OK. Takes a minute. And it literally took a minute there. Okay, so here's the first part right here is the model number four. That means mediator. Your DV is final exam scores. Your IV is midterm scores. M is suspected mediator. That's the number of minutes. All right, this first box here, outcome variable, minutes. So this is the relationship between the IV of midterm scores against minutes. Let's take a picture. Let's take a look back at our picture here. That would be this relationship between midterm scores and study minutes. And there's the coefficient and a standard deviation. Right? Bam, bam, bam. And then the next box down here is where it says final. Get back in there, you. Where it says final. This is between the mediator and the DV. So that would be this one in our little picture here. Okay. That's between study minutes and final exam scores. Let's make sure that we got the right numbers 0.0684. 0.0684, and yeah, we did. So there's minutes, the coefficient, and there's the standard deviation. So that's, you know, it did it for us, but now we're going to go down and see if it is significant or not. We're going to go down to the total direct and indirect effects. Ah, get out of there, you double click. This down here, this is your money. Money, money, money. So this first one is total effect of X on Y. In other words, the total effect on midterm scores, on final exam scores. Now, a total effect, it takes the direct effect, which is the correlation between X and Y, and it adds in the mediation effect. So I don't know why anybody would want the total effect of X and Y. There's that stupid double-click thing again. Man, I should get rid of that. So the direct effect of X on Y is like the, is like the correlation between midterm scores and final exam scores, right? So, and it is significant, right? We knew that beforehand. So this is the one you want right here. Indirect effects of X on Y with minutes being the mediator. So there's the, there's the indirect effect of minutes. And this is how you tell. If the lower limit confidence interval, that's what LLCI stands for, and the upper limit confidence interval, those are your confidence intervals, your low value and your high value. If there's a zero in between there somewhere, 
it's not a mediator. Let me say that again. If there's a zero in the low between the lower limit confidence interval and the upper limit confidence interval, it is not a mediator. But this one says it is in fact a mediator. Okay. So I hope this helps. MGZ out.